वेलकम टू देसी टीचर इन विदेश सो टुडे आई एम गोना टॉक अबाउट द रीसेंट पोस्ट ऑफ पोजीशंस इन सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग बेस्ड ऑन सिग्नल प्रोसेस बेसिकली द पोस्ट ऑफ टॉपिक इज लिटिल डिफरेंट बिकॉज़ इट मोस्टली द पोस्ट ऑफ पोस्ट ऑफ इज अ मल्टीडिसिप्लिनरी रिसर्च रिमेंबर पोस्ट ऑफ इज अ मल्टीडिसिप्लिनरी रिसर्च इट इज नॉट लाइक मास्टर्स और या पी एच डी इज सम काइंड रिलेटेड टू द पोस्ट ऑफ बेसिकली बिकॉज बस आफ्टर पी एच डी यू हैव टू बी बेसिकली दे कंसिडर दैट आफ्टर पी एच डी यू कैन डू अ रिसर्च इंडिपेंडेंटली नॉट बिकॉज वी यस डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू वर्क इन अ टीम बट आफ्टर पी एच डी दे थिंक ओके यू कैन वर्क इन अ टीम एंड एज अ इंडिविजुअल एज वेल सो मीन्स यू कैन वर्क इंडिपेंडेंटली एज वेल सो today i am going to talk about the three positions for the post doc in signal processing okay and maybe in different field maybe signal processing in ultrasound signal processing in some software development whatever but these positions are for electronics and computer science students or maybe ideas who have little experience on in signal processing during their phd or masters whatever so I'm, uh, i will go one by one so these three positions are uh, in three universities first one is the delft university of netherlands yes i already studied there uh, some courses i did during my study in masters and one uh, it is not only the one position but i'm just i'm just talking about the post doc position so and one post doc position is in kings college london that is also very good college I did my masters in University of Westminster, London, so I visited King's College as well many times. Very nice college. Uh, and one PhD position in the Czech Republic, Brno. So the three postdoc positions. So I will go one by one. And the last date. Why I am just making this video at instead at night? I am making this video because the last date is uh, between 20 to 28th of February. Please remember the last date of all three postdocs. are between 20 to 28 february and one good thing the most important thing you don't need to make a four or five pages of the research proposal because the research topic is already decided because you have to be a part in one of the project so the all explanation all details are already there i will go i will tell you so what are the links and how what you have to do so you just need to make a one page of the your interest or statement of purpose or your research interest whatever you don't need to make a four or five like page uh, research proposal so it means the last date between 20 to 28 you have a lot of time yes you can make in maybe three days or two days because you already have a plan right you know your phd you know your about your master and you just need to go through these topics okay like i will show you you just need to go through the topics and make your statement of purpose accordingly please remember maybe you will find okay some of the eligibility criteria or desired or desired like criteria you don't fulfill but don't hesitate to apply please apply in all three positions if you are just you have little interest towards the signal processing nobody is perfect right nobody is perfect you cannot fulfill all of the eligibility criteria maybe somebody has the more knowledge than you somebody has the more experience in the different field what they are asking but maybe they have little knowledge in writing research article they have uh, they are not good in the presentation in the conferences they are not good like late work in the experiment uh, like in the laboratory or whatever so you understand so don't hesitate and like uh, don't underestimate underestimate yourself please remember be positive and just apply and if you need any help if you want like if you write your like a one page statement of purpose or whatever research interest if you need my help to check i i will definitely help you. like okay free of cost i will help you and correct you and i will also suggest you some suggestion what you can include in your research interest so so i have prepared some slides for you at night because it is night here so i prepared just because the last date is uh, coming soon so that's why so i will go through the slides and we'll discuss more okay so let's go through the slides okay guys so here's the slide so last date please remember last date 
is maybe between 20 to 28th of the Feb. So last date for each program or each postdoc position, I uh, we will see now. So these postdoc positions are for the PhD holders in electronic CS or IT. Okay, please remember. Yes, so please remember that getting a job is the last step. First, you just have to apply in a positive mindset. If you already think like maybe oh, I'm very weak, I cannot be selected. Maybe this is too hard. Please leave all this. Just apply. Just apply with positive mindset. Okay, so first postdoc position with the signal processing and machine learning for multimodal molecular imaging. Right? So uh, this position is at Delft University of Technology, Netherlands. Delft is just a small city near the Amsterdam, okay? It is a small city, Delft. Well, so what the what are what are the eligibility criteria here? PhD degree in engineering, computer science, system and control, statistics, computational physics, or any domain related to research topics, right? Any topic, it doesn't matter. So in engineering means it can be the electronics, electrical, whatever, but the main focus will be on signal processing as you can see the postdoc position in signal processing and machine learning for multimodal imaging to build 3d this 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 whatever so background in image and signal processing machine learning numerical analysis or statistics you remember or statistics means you don't need to fulfill all of the criteria. Please remember, because most of the students, they say, oh, I, I should know image processing. I, I just know signal processing. I don't know machine learning. I don't know numerical analysis. Come on, please read full sentences. All these sentences, please read carefully, okay, before applying. So you don't need to fulfill all of the criteria. Whatever you have, like uh, if I have the st strong background in signal processing, so I will focus like in my uh, cover letter or statement of purpose, I will mention this. Okay, I have like uh, very good, strong foundation in signal processing. I have published these these articles. I worked on the level experiment, like experiments or whatever. So I will show my strength, and other strength you can you can just show. I have the like working knowledge. Yes, authentical knowledge of this. I, I do not have the practical uh, like experience in the research field, but I have the working knowledge or I have the theoretical knowledge or I just did some course, whatever. So you just need to show. Okay, so you have to like uh, maybe strong motivation means you don't, do, you know, if you think like you need to work only with the electronics people or you just need to work with the computer guys, it is not possible in the Europe, like if you are doing a postdoc, you have to work in the like multidisciplinary, not even the postdoc, even in the PhD as well. Because if you see my research papers as well, like uh, I worked on the ultrasonic signal processing. I am from electronics background, my BTEC in electronics, master's in electronics, and I did PhD in ultrasonic signal processing. So I, I had to work with the doctors as well related to ultrasound because I worked on ultrasonic signal processing, not only for materials, but also for the cancer research. If you can, you can see my articles, just write my name, maybe in the Google Scholar, Kumar Anubhav Tiwari, and you will find some articles related to the cancer research. So you should be prepared yourself that you have to work in the multidisciplinary environment. And you have to interact with like different people from different backgrounds. Like from from medical, from biology, chemistry, physics, computer, right? From mathematics. So it doesn't matter. You should you have to like uh, show your motivation, right? Yes, I just want to work in the like uh, in different uh, with different people, and I just need to like uh, I'm very like excited to work in the multidisciplinary environment or something. So you have to show in your statement of purpose. And maybe if you have some valid reason also, you can show your previous experience if you already did this. So it is up to you. I can help you, okay? If you want my help, maybe I can overview your, like this statement of purpose if you never did it before, like earlier, so. Okay, good command of English is required. So that's it, you, you should have. Last date, 22nd of Feb, so please. 
keep in mind and you see the salary salary is like very good salary maybe as like uh, it is maybe more than a lecturer position like if you get a lecturer position even this salary is the more than a lecturer because postdoc position is like uh, very demanding and uh, in their grade it is at the maybe top two level so you are we will get a good salary and contract is two years but most of the time it is extendable because most of the time you will be absorbed in the same lab or you maybe you will get some position somewhere so yeah so this is the link i already posted here so you need to go through this link yes this is the link please remember this is the link and then when you when you click uh, click on this link you just need to on this postdoc position you just need to click on show more when you go to the show more it will open the pdf something file and and if you go down and down and down you will see the application link at the end okay when the document will open and the application link will be at the end of the document please remember this otherwise you will see where how to fill the application right yeah okay so these what are the application documents cv and the list of publication letter of motivation and research interest up to one page please remember you don't need to prepare this four or five page of proposal so that's why you can apply as soon as possible name and contact information of three academic references take okay yeah the three academic references you need and copies of your key publication so you all these you should have prepared and you just need to maybe uh, upload all these documents when you fill up when you are filling the application maybe you need to fill the uh, sorry upload all these documents yes okay and what are the research topics of interest so you don't need to work maybe only in the like one field maybe you can if you're interested in similar processing you can write okay i am interested in this if you are interested in this dimensional reduction and transformation or wave lot something so you can just write or maybe if you have the experience or research interest in all of these fields you can write on the statement of purpose if you don't have experience in machine learning or you don't have even interest in the machine learning you just say no if you don't know the machine learning you don't have the experience in machine learning but still you have the interest in the machine learning you can write you can write yes because there will be a team you if you have three or four like uh, uh, topics if you have the interest you have the experience the fourth topic or fifth additional topic maybe you have to work in a team you will learn by the time it's okay do not wait for the last date please remember because it is also already written written in the document that uh, if they find the good candidates maybe so they can stop so they they will not basically because last date is 22nd but they already will decide okay so like which person they have to take so please remember just apply okay if you see the video now just start applying preparing documents within uh, not do not wait until 22 just to apply at on 20th or like 19 whatever okay so second post opposition this is in ultrasound signal processing this is basically my field i did my doctorate in ultrasound signal processing if somebody like needs my like guidance to prepare like definitely i can help well so this position is at king's college london yeah one of the prestigious college in london yeah very beautiful building it is near the piccadilly circus yeah so i know that piccadilly circus is very famous well so you can see the postdoctoral research associate to develop novel signal processing algorithm for tracking and surgical navigation with robotic ultrasound guidance so basically what they want they want like if somebody has the experience like or somebody has the uh, research work in the like related to medical biomedical field or computer vision or in the robotics or close related field close related field means application of signal processing in some field you understand application of signal processing may be in image processing right biomedical image processing whatever means you should have like some some kind of experience or some kind of you can show demonstrable experience in biomedical signal processing biomedical signal processing doesn't mean that you have to be like signal processing only in the cancer or tb or something like this with diseases biomedical signal processing may be some image processing as well 
and some signal processing you have some signals like whatever like received and you are doing signal processing even you for example in my case i did not do anything in the medical but the doc from the doctors or medical people i just received the signals and i have to process them right so that's it but my my job was to process the signals and acquire the results you i'm telling about myself so if you have some kind of experience you can show but please just don't, don't forget to apply just apply if you don't have still you apply you can show that your strong experience in signal processing technique well you can see this is the eligibility and these are the desired it means ultrasound signal processing or image processing so you whatever if you have the image processing experience or signal processing experience doesn't matter yeah experience in software development if you have some like experience in soft not software dev development is a big thing basically it takes a lot of time to develop a software but if you have some experience in some programming if you know some matlab or some maybe c++ whatever so th this is well well good well and good so please remember again you don't need to fulfill all of the eligibility and desirable criteria don't need to fulfill because nobody is like uh, you know like uh super master yes but and there is no age like to learn you can learn any time new techniques so whatever technique you know you just need to make your experience like uh, your research uh, proposal not proposal that that is called a statement of purpose or a uh, statement of intact whatever they will say so you need to make one page document so you just need to mention you just need to show that you are highly motivated that's it salary yes so this is per annum or per year 38 around 38000 to 45000 you see in pound yes so it is very good salary and last date is 24th of feb so application uh, this application should be your second priority so i already posted in one of the, in the priority wise so first application the delhi university of technology you need to first uh, submit first and then second you need to uh, submit for this king's college london and any problem if you have like you can go through this like uh, this uh, you know like dr feng feng zia so you can just contact on other professor also so they are the in this department so you can just write a mail if you have anything you need to ask okay so here it is so eligibility criteria we already we have discussed so now apply online yeah so apply online this is the link you see this is the link you can go through this link and then you can apply yes this link is here another is in the czech republic bruno yes bruno is very beautiful city in europe very beautiful architecture is very nice like yeah one of the tourist place so post doc position in the field of signal processing and machine learning again so you know like phd in engineering mathematics computer science biophysics bioinformatics doesn't matter in which field right most of the field they already cover but you must have some experience in the data processing and signal processing right monitoring data so if you have done the phd definitely you know the data processing right how to monitor the data and how to process the data yeah and you should have some experience with applied dynamic modeling in uh physiology or complex urban system or experience with machine learning techniques like maybe you don't have or you have but doesn't matter only this like one of the experience or one of the field if you like have the next experience it doesn't matter you are not a good candidate please remember whatever you know just write in the your do one page document background in developing and implementing customized neural network models would be a plus would be a plus but not must remember it not a just a must requirement just a plus yeah additional requirement so okay if you know the like a neural network or you know like machine learning that is well and good but if you don't know it doesn't matter you have the strong foundation in signal processing image processing you have good foundation in algorithm development of algorithm in signal processing yeah it is written here like okay 
uh python okay coding is advantage let's say okay especially tensor flow okay keras or whatever so if you know some python very good otherwise you can also write i know matlab and python is also mostly related to matlab or other coding style so it will be a no problem for you so you can just write like this okay understanding of a probabilistic interference optimization model signal algorithm graph network science is all like related to the you can see like optimization and developing the algorithm in the machine learning so if you understand this you got my point understand you should not have the big experience or like huge experience in this field just understanding so maybe if you you can prepare yourself right if you get selected for this program you can prepare yourself so you can write yes i understand definitely you will understand enthusiasm and eagerness to gain insight okay that says you should be highly enthusiastic you should be highly motivated if you are just even trying to apply this you are thinking to apply yeah and you okay experience and high motivation to present and publish scientific results if you have already done your phd definitely you should have the high motivation you should be highly motivated to publish the results publishing like uh, high quality results in the journals or presenting in the conferences okay excellent written oral and personal english communication so yeah that's it and team work so definitely you have to work in a team that is very good advantage right sometimes uh, at some points you are stuck but your team can help so this is very good this uh, this is the research topic for this basically sensor data and city so you can go through like more about this like okay i will show you the, the like link so you can go through this and you can maybe understand more but mostly related to the signal processing and the modeling but not only you maybe you will work only with signal processing and other team members will work in the modeling okay so don't think you don't need to apply please remember this is a big team so this is all just a one state one page statement of research interest summary of publication cv name and contact details of three referees phd degree and this is the link to apply online by the end of february so 20th of february is the deadline you understand so please apply please remember that uh, don't divert yourself if you see like okay some of the uh, requirements essential requirement you don't fulfill but you must apply you must apply please remember i did not know abc about this ultrasound when i applied for this phd in ultrasonic signal processing but i learned during this because i knew the signal processing so maybe you have to work only in the signal processing you have to work maybe if you are from computer maybe you have to work only with the artificial intelligence or neural network you understand so just apply and show what you know and what experience you have and make a strong very strong this cover letter or we, we say like uh, this uh, statement of research interest okay so that's it from my side okay guys so uh, that's all from my side so if you have any issues like regarding these applications and how you need to fill up and how to prepare the documents so please you can consult any time to me you just need to write a uh, your question on the comment box and we can discuss and we can share the contacts and then maybe uh, we can talk and i can help you yes so please don't forget to like to apply and please uh, if you don't uh, if you know somebody like who have the phd in these electronics and computer science and signal processing or whatever even in the mathematics maybe so you can just please try to inform them because deadline is uh, like by the end of february so that's why i'm applying and um, because there are other post docs as well but because these are urgent because deadline is in the february okay so please share this this video to them as well okay so if you like this video if you like the information if you like uh, no more related to the education and work so i will also now maybe post next video related to the work as well okay to like uh, some positions here in the europe uh, so please share the video please subscribe my channel if you like uh, think it is really beneficial and uh, uh, this is very good for the students for the job seekers if you really like okay do not subscribe if you don't like seriously 
because it is not for money if you like because uh, so definitely please subscribe the channel share the channel like comment and also do not forget to press the bell icon so you will be notified for my next video please this is very important just go to the my main channel page and press the bell icon okay so thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye